Hello beauties, welcome back to another Caramel Curls 15 video. Today we're going to be filming an updated 2018 eyeshadow palette collection video. And I'm going to start with my smaller, higher end palettes. And this um, video, or this series of videos will be broken down probably into three or four parts because I have a lot of palettes. And um, it's some palettes that I'm using in my Shop My Stash that I'll show you guys. But we're going to go ahead and start with this Alex drawer. And <clears throat> I have, this is my five set of Alex drawers that's uh, on my vanity table. So we're going to start here and then we'll eventually get to all my eyeshadow palettes. So brace yourself because I have a lot of palettes. And actually I need to take an inventory of my palettes while I'm doing this video. So stay tuned and we're going to go ahead and get started. First step in this drawer we have the ColourPop pressed eyeshadows and I purchased these eyeshadows when they first released their um, pressed eyeshadows and this I thought they all had names but I don't quite remember okay nope you just get when you purchase the, uh, the uh, pressed eyeshadows they just uh, came with this little holder so this is my first set I don't know the colors I don't want to dig them out because I don't want to mess them up but oh here we go maybe a little easier to um look at now this one is called I love you this shade here and this is a really good crease shade so this is my first set here if you guys want to see what colors are in this palette leave a comment down below and I'll list it then I have another color pop pressed eyeshadow palette. And these are more of my uh, plums and purple colors here. And then I have a Z palette with some in there too. So we'll get to that in the other side. That will probably be part two or three of the video. And then I have Smashbox. Three of the Smashbox palettes. And these were called Cover Shot palettes. And they all have different themes. So I have the um, Smashbox Cover Shot Ablaze Eye Palette. And I love these kinds of colors. And I probably should put some lotion on my hand, guys. I'll do that in a second. <laughs> and then I have the Cover Shot Golden Hour Palette. A lot of people have been finding this palette at TJ Maxx. I, my TJ Maxx in Michigan, by where I live, they're crappy. They don't really have high-end products. And then I have the Smashbox Cover Shot Bold Eye Palette, which I have not used these, but I will eventually. We have the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Palette. I love these colors. I will probably never get rid of this palette because these are like my go-to colors. And there's some shimmers in there. There's a few mattes. So it's balanced out with shimmers and mattes. Here's one palette I have not used. Happy Girl Shine Brighter. This is another double duty palette. And let's open it up. Never used it. I do remember purchasing it. When the store comes with a look card. This looks like a okay palette. I haven't used it, but I did like the colors at the time. And I got these on sale. So. Then we have the Tart Man Eater palette. These are the colors in that one. I, I used this a lot when I first got it. I haven't used it in a while. But I used it a lot when I first got it. And I will not depart with that one. Then we have two of the Stila palettes. I have um, the Eyes Are the Window palettes. One is in Soul. And this one is in Mind. And this is in Mind. I haven't used these in a while either. As you guys, <laughs> that's going to be a common statement in this video. And then I have another Tarte palette. This is another double duty palette in classic courage. And I believe my daughter 
got one of these for me as a gift for my birthday. Was it last year or the year, year before last, I think it was. One of these palettes you got me. Well, you got me a gift card and I caught them on sale. Something like that. And it comes with a blush, too. Then I have another Double Duty palette by Tartan. It's the Sultry Star palette. I love the packaging. How they have different scenes on it. And the blushes. And this one says, May the Starlight Be Your Spotlight. Then getting back here, we have some Too Faced palette. This is a peanut butter and jelly palette, which I was using a, a lot over the summer. I love this uh, color, Nuts About You and Peanut Butter. And Spread the Love. And this um, gold color here, Peanut Brittle, is very pretty. Then we have the... Too Faced Peanut Butter Honey Palette. And I love the packaging because you can always wipe this off and keep it clean. And I use this one a lot over the summer too. But this Honey Brittle color was not very pigmented. Neither was the Bee's Knees color. So this one is a little lackluster compared to the Peanut Butter and Jelly. have the uh, Too Faced Totally Cute Palette. I love these colors. I did. You can see I have used it a little bit. But... I want to use this uh, Storm Cloud and I Love TF, which is I Love Too Faced color. I haven't really reached for those, but I was just trying to use this. And I haven't used it. Um, this came with some stickers. I haven't used that. Here's another one of my favorite Too Faced palettes. I just love this tinfoil packaging because it's easy to keep clean. This is a Too Faced Natural Matte palette. I did purchase this. What was that? TJ Maxx or something? I got it on sale or clearance somewhere. So here we go. With that, this is like a go-to palette for me because it has like the colors I always reach for. Then we have two more Tarte palettes. I did get another uh, one of these palettes in a boxy charm, but I gave it to my daughter since I already had purchased it because it came in a boxy charm. But here is that one. Very pretty. Very pretty. This is volume two. Haven't used one. Next up, we have some ColourPop palettes. And this is the double. Okay, this is the double Entendre palette by ColourPop. It's around Christmas. I love the packaging. And I love the colors. Next up by ColourPop, we have the Yes Please palette. That's how these colors look. Okay, reaching way to the back of the drawer. I have this Sephora Easy on the Eyes palette. You guys, I told you guys in the previous video about my drama getting this palette using my perk points from um using my perk points from Sephora. And the packaging looks just like the box. And these are the colors. Reaching way to the back, I have two of the Kat Von D. Eye palette, shade light eye and contour palettes. So these, I've been seeing a lot of videos showing these at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stuff like that. But I paid full price for them when they first came out, but have not used them. So first up here we have the Rust palette. We have the Sage palette. All right, going to the other side in the same drawer, we have, I have two of the Lorac mini palettes. Now I have Lorac 1 and 2. Never use them. Those colors in the packaging. Tarlette Tees palette, and it's a mini palette. We have the Urban Decay Vices palette, which I use to redeem for, uh, I use points to, to get this palette from um, Sephora. And that's how that looks with the eyeliner. And the Too Faced Mini Chocolate Bar Palette, which I also use points to redeem as Sephora to get this palette. And it has the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I have another Tarte Tartise Pro To Go Palette. And that's how that one looks. And then 
two Stila palettes. And this one is Perfect Me, Perfect Hue, and it's a Tan Deep palette. Love this palette. Then I have the Perfect Me, Perfect Hue, Medium Tan palette. Next up, we have the Lorac, the Lorac Pro Mini Palette, and it's in the matte. I've only used this one about twice, once or twice. This is how that one looks. Bear with me, I'm trying to film this with this whole crazy tripod I have is challenging. Then I have the Lorac Pro Metal Palette. Hello. I need to try this like electric blue kind of color. It's called cobalt. Yeah, well, I'm trying to keep them organized as I show you guys this, but it's not working out so great. Next up, we have the Pure Cosmetics Transformation Palette that I received in a boxy charm. Did I receive this in a boxy charm or did I buy this? I don't remember. <laughs> That's just, but the colors are beautiful in there. Have, uh, another tart palette, and this one is Amazonian Clay Eye and Cheek palette, and this is how that one looks. Easy travel palette. It has a blush in the middle here. Guess I have to reorganize this one. I'm doing. Then I have the Pure Co Pure Cosmetics. Her cosmetics palette. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's the Soul Matte. And I did purchase this on clearance. I believe so. Don't quote me. Sorry. It's been a long night. Jacob was up <laughs> a lot of the night. But it has some very beautiful colors and it's very pigmented. I have used this palette. It's a brush that comes with it, but I believe it's in it with my other brushes. Then we have the Tarte palette styles by Harouche. And this, uh, this is how the old colors look. Very pretty. And a blush. And this I purchased from Sephora. It came in a set of three. One is called Ready for Tonight. Working It. And Daily Chick. You're supposed to be able to take each one of these palettes and create a different look with it. And it, some of them come with uh, lip gloss. Like this one has two lip glosses on there. These are the colors. I've never used it thinking about decluttering this and I did buy them on clearance but I'm still thinking about decluttering them because I haven't used them and I've had them for about a year next up this is the working it this is how that one looks and this one has a highlighter instead of the lip gloss and then we have the daily chick which has two lip glosses And keeping this going, I'll reorganize them when I'm done, I guess. We have an Urban Decay Shadow Box Palette. I gave, I had another palette similar to this for Urban Decay. I gave it to my daughter. That black is really, really, really black. But this is that one if you want to add some glitter to your look. And I have the Lorac. What's this one called? I can't remember what this Lorac palette is called. But it was released, I believe, last Easter. So that's how that one looks. I have used it before. I have the Tarte palette and the Double Duty Young, Wild, and Free. Sorry, I'm looking a mess today, guys. Wash day for my hair. And this is how that one looks. Then I have the Lorac New Necessities palette. I wish they bring out another palette like this. I purchased this one about two years ago and it has been my holy grail palette. I had to force myself to put it in this drawer because I was using it every day. I used up all of this. It didn't break. I literally scraped out everything to make sure I used it all. I hit pan on this one. I'm about to hit pan on this little gold color here and hit pan on this one and this one. 
So this is like a palette that I use to incorporate with any look that I do because of the um, the natural shades in it or the neutral, I'm sorry, neutral shades in it. And I just use it every day to help enhance the look or get me started with the look. I wish they would come out with another new necessities palette. Maybe add some different colors to it or something, but I just love And the quality is amazing. So next up we have the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Must Have Palette. This is a good travel palette. I have traveled with this before. And it has your transition shades. It's a really, really nice palette. And this highlight palette, this highlight color here, love it. Quality is amazing. Then I have the Dose of Colors. Marvelous Mauve palette. Bought this one over the summer. Over the last 2017 summer. I have not used it. I did have a coupon when I used it, so I did not pay full price. <laughs> and that's the colors. I want to get the one that has, like, um, the, the color similar to the uh, Naked Heat palette like this. I want to get that one. I've been watching videos on that. And they said that it's a nice one, too. So I do want to get that one. And then I have a Blink palette. Electric Eyes palette. This was in a BoxyCharm a few months back. That one did come broken. I've seen a lot of people that said theirs came broken. But I still do want to try it. It came cracked, but we'll work with it. Got Makeup Geek palette. This is a collaboration with Manny MUA. And I have never used it. Or did I use it once? I take that back. I apologize. I have used it once or twice. These colors here. This color and these two colors. Two palettes by The Bomb. And we have Meat Matrimony and Meat Matte Nude. Let me zoom you guys out a little bit so you can see it a little better. And I like these palettes, but I do not reach for them often. This is the Meat Matte Nude palette. This is Meat Matrimony. Very pretty colors. I just don't reach for them often. And good quality as well. Alright, then we have a Per Cosmetics Sorry Diaries palette. And I believe I got this in the boxy charm. Yeah, this came in the boxy charm. And I haven't used it. I just looked at it this morning. And it's very nice. So it has a protective foam on it. Very nice palette. Well, very not very nice palette, but very nice color selection. And then in the back here, I have the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani collaboration palette. And I loved on this for a while, and then it's just been put up for a long time. I haven't reached for it, but I'm about to hit pan on this Harajuku color here. And I've used this pop color and steady. So we're going to get some more love out of this palette. This palette will probably be good if you are using it for everyday look to create like your base shades and transition colors. And you want a little pop of color but not too dramatic if you, depending on what kind of uh, work environment you're in. And way back here in the back here, I have a Color Pop Love of Flare set. And that's how these colors look. I've only used one, two, I'm sorry, I used two, three, <laughs> take that back. I have used three, and it's this top row here. I think I only used it once or twice. And then I have a Stila palette way in the back here. And it's made like a little pocketbook. And these are the colors, and it comes with a gloss. And a mascara. Which I like the colors to use. And I have used this one. Okay guys, I'm going to reorganize this drawer. This concludes the first part of our of my eyeshadow palette collection video. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next Caramel Curls 15 video. I am going to try to keep these videos under 25 minutes so it's probably going to be four to five parts to my eyeshadow palette collection but please like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in the next camera curls 15 video
Bye.